you are looking at double layer medium duty commercial on the frost cover so hopefully that did the trick let me remove this stuff and we'll take a peek well they're still alive there's a few leaves that just need to be trimmed off there at the bottom but the heads all still look pretty good on here so that makes me happy I'll get in here today and uh, we'll clip off some of those lower dead leaves but uh, the plants themselves look to have survived the evening so that is excellent so another very very chilly day today never ends never ceases right now hopefully next week i think we're supposed to warm up a little bit but right now it is it's like 33 degrees winds blowing like crazy okay so here is the hoop house so far we just did temporary um you know plastic on these sides over here we'll finish this off at some point but we wanted to start getting it warmed up uh so that we can start utilizing it soon here we are let's see what it is in here it it's cold and the wind's blowing so i don't expect too much from it 45 yeah there's no sun today whatsoever so and no supplemental heat no thermal mass and all that stuff to that would be normally get in here or we will get in here but um certainly certainly digging it so far this end will get finished off with the wood and the double door and all that good stuff looks like my plastic actually fell down up there which is probably not helping my thermal holdings a little bit of a gap it was blowing like crazy 30 40 miles an hour again yesterday and everything survived just fine so that is fantastic just have a little bit more chicken wire to put up on the bottom here so we can roll up those sides when the weather gets warmer and we can still keep uh rabbits or deer from sticking their head in and uh, we got our four rows here about 30 inches a piece and then our one big path in the center so still have some rock to move in here in the pathways and uh, a little more manure or compost to put on the beds but uh we are getting close probably next week we're going to put plants in here and uh, i got to do some tests with supplemental heat and see what we can keep this thing at once i get all the cracks filled up like that one above the door so um we have some experimenting to do but uh exciting exciting to get some climate control going uh here in northern idaho because uh yeah you just never know what kind of weather you're going to get up here so because the weather is absolutely terrible we are not going to do any gardening today i have some fascia window trim i'm not going to get it all done today but this is a long overdue project so we've got to put our fascia boards up and on this side we got to start getting this sealed off before bat season yes the bats shall live in our house if i don't get working on this so joy 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 but um there's not a lot of places to screw in the fascia here, so I'm probably gonna have to fill in some two by four uh, just to give some structural integrity for me to really anchor in, especially if you know gutters or anything is ever put on. So got a little work to do. So here is the first zone we gotta work on. Um, and they used floor, floor joists actually. These are manufactured floor joists. Uh, as dresses they shouldn't have done that uh, it's not a huge deal they have reinforcements inside and it's uh, it just doesn't give you a lot on the end to screw into that's solid you don't want to tap into that it's gonna split and get nasty so we need to add bottom reinforcements and we need to add side reinforcements oh we also have to do the window trim and uh, so like we're just gonna do this all the way across so when i put my fascia on i've got two by four that i can uh tie all this into with so it's going to make it a heck of a lot stronger it's uh and tie all these tongue and grooves that are just floating it's going to give them some rigidity too so um yeah they did some stuff wrong and we're going to fix it i started last year by putting mesh over top the uh, bat entrances because they like to get up in here but we'll also seal up our fascia real tight uh, and that also actually is small enough it keeps out those stupid shield bugs. But over here is where the bats really like to hang out. They get up into the roof line in here somehow. Um, and this is on a very steep part of the roof, so it's extremely hard for me to crawl up here and 
get anything done but yeah this is where this one roof line meets the other roof line and there's some debauchery that occurred there so we'll have to try to address that too because mama doesn't want bats this is the hard part so i have to tether off and wear a harness and carry heavy boards just to get this part done so this is the hard part because that's a good 12 foot drop off the back side of that roof and uh, it's very steep i'm almost at probably 40 degrees here it's a really steep roof line uh so you know it is what it is but not my favorite well you have seen the front in other videos i just wanted to take a little shot of this before i get to tearing things apart and doing work so um we started painting there we decided that color was a little too antique is a little too off-white uh it's a little dingy looking so we want to go with something a little brighter and that's why we haven't finished that so we had to pick a new white to put up there but first we'll knock out the trim do that and get this fascia put on All right, side one is done. Um, not too uh, displeased with that, I should say. I'm kind of a stickler when it comes to thing, things, but if we caulk that center line, it, that little crease will disappear. And given how uneven those tr uh, fake trusses were coming out, um, it, it went up there okay. So now I have at least something stable to put my bat shielding up against. There's a little gap on the backside, and I think where it touches the roof line, um, a little piece of flashing is in order there as well. A little, little drip shield to go up there to make these boards last longer, I think, uh, would be important as well as some screws. We need to hit some roofing screws down on top of it, really anchor in those end pieces of the uh, metal roof. So off to the other side. about 39 degrees and as you can see behind me mostly cloudy skies and we have probably 10 mile an hour wind today I saw the sensor and it said our hoop house was at 74 degrees so we're gonna go see if that's the truth okay oh my gosh that is not a joke it's like I just got off the plane in Florida okay hold on let's take a look 73.8 sorry i'm fogging up this is how i went from the cold to this heat now i'm fogging up there we go look at that sorry i'm still a little foggy wow that's that's just fantastic all right well that's good super happy with that it feels amazing in there so now it comes down to doing some of the tips and tricks to keep like when it gets down to 27 to keep it from reaching freezing in there at night. Um, so we've got to go with some thermal mass. I would like to see maybe like a small thousand watt or 80 watt or thousand watt, like an 800 watt or a 750 watt heater does in there. Cause we get pretty good rates in our electricity. So it's not a huge deal to run, you know, a small space heater in there. Obviously it'd have to be outdoor rated, but, um, just for you know six hours so evening chores turn it on first thing in the morning when you come out here you turn it off that sort of thing maybe have a switch somewhere closer to the house um so we're going to test that out but this is just proof positive that on a day that the sun has never come out we've had wind blowing not even 40 degrees 
that we're at 74 degrees in there. To me, that is just so cool. And it just shows the need that anybody who wants to produce food before they buy like a BCS tiller or, you know, a regular tractor, I, I'm, I'm telling you, hoop house first. Even if it's like a DIY cattle panel hoop house, some way to really get the shoulder seasons maximized and um, finances allowing, I think this is now a guarantee that uh, I'll move forward with another two, at least two hoop houses in coming seasons. So we're all going to be growing our food a lot more than we are now. And uh, this is going to allow you to do it, having that hoop house. All right, back to the project. Well, that was joyful that top board there took me almost an hour and a half so um yeah not a very good time ratio on that i should grab my drill i am going to be done for the night um well done filming for the night after we go down here and do chores i'm gonna try to work we'll see it's really cold i mean it's already like 33 degrees so i don't really want to go continue to work but uh these things need to get done so that is nice to have that up. Uh, underneath, we need to finish. I'm going to need a trim piece here on the back side. You can see where the color difference is. They had a really cruddy uh, pine piece that was there. So I need to just see if they've got like a two inch MDX or something. I can butt that up against and uh, add some rigidity and fill that gap. Well, uh, I'm glad we got a, a little head start on that project because the uh, bats are probably only a couple weeks away and even after I get it all up it's uh, going to be sealing time. I'm going to still have a lot I have to seal so um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. So up top I don't know how I'm going to get up there without a scissor lift. That's going to be a, a nightmare. I will uh, <laughs> if I could find the board I ripped off I might try to put it back on and just paint the existing stuff. That would be the smartest thing to do since I'm working by myself, to be honest with you, because the likelihood of something bad happening, working, you know, 22 to 25 feet off the ground is probably pretty high. Uh, we'll just have to see. You waiting on more food? Didn't I just feed you a few hours ago? What's up, big man? Been a good work companion today. I saw you watching the ladder in case I had a misstep. You might consider telling mom. Oh, you guys are all bundled up. Oh, look at that. Look at that piggy face. Yeah, you guys are ready for bed. All right. The two girls are together. And the dude's off by himself. 
<laughs> All right, I won't disturb them too much. They look happy. Well, that was, uh, you know, you never get done what you hope you get done in one day, but um, made a really good head start on it. And now it's just gonna be that other side, which will go up faster than the first side. And then the very steep area, which I am not looking forward to it. And then I, I've got I've got to have that one board lying around somewhere. So I will look for that board because that would be just amazing if I could just somehow manage to get that board back in place and then paint over that and then be done with it. So we'll see. Well, folks, I guess that is it for the evening. We are going to go make dinner and the wind is picking back up. This is really I'm really ready for this week to get over with. It has not been pleasant here in the inland northwest. It has been nasty weather, so uh, with that, I will see you all on the next video.